Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP and I'm going to show you today how loud your voice truly can be. Because what happened with the SEC and XRP, your voice mattered. So let's take a look. Ripple defendants file motion to block SEC from delaying its response to the Amici Courier briefs. We don't want no more delays. It's been almost two years now, and this lawsuit is still going on. I remember when it was supposed to be wrapped up within three to six months, then a year, and here we are, still going. The SEC lawsuit was just deployed to drag it out until the U.S. government was ready to get on board. The reset is coming. Hopefully everyone has their XRP bags filled up because once this takes off, the price will not be affordable for most people. Generational wealth is coming. And a lot of people believe that also, that the whole SEC lawsuit was just meant to happen to delay everything until the U.S. was ready for cross-border payments to be part of the new financial system. But again... The reset is coming and generational wealth will definitely follow it. It's a congressional matter, so it's up to the banks then. That's laughable. This is inexcusable. A truly wild moment yesterday from the House Financial Services Committee when they laughed about the revolving door from Congress to the banks. This needs to stop. We pay all of those politicians with our tax money. Why don't we voice a, an opinion to what they're doing? Vote them out of office already, in my opinion. Even without an Amici brief, XRP holders have already had a major impact on the SEC Gov versus Ripple case. As I'm reading the SEC's motion for summary judgment a third time, in preparation for our Amici brief, I wanted to say thanks to the thousands of XRP holders who signed sworn affidavits. Now, this is coming from Johnny Deaton, and I'm going to continue reading this because it's very important for you, all of you to hear it. We submitted over 2,500 affidavits, Ripple and the SEC, testifying as to why and how people acquired XRP, some including not investment reasons, whether they knew anything about Ripple and where, when they acquired XRP how they utilize XRP, the XRP ledger, and the use of the DEX. And then it goes on to say, why do you think the SEC abandoned the expert offering testimony regarding what a responsible XRP purchaser relied on when acquiring XRP? Do you recall the litigation involving with that expert? The SEC asked me for me to be thrown off the case when I asked a judge to participate. Now, I don't know why most of you bought XRP, most likely for the same reason I did though, because we knew we were going to get rich at some point in the future. But the SEC even had to prove that we watched some sort of ripple marketing video at some point before we bought XRP. I still, to this day, have not watched that video. I didn't even know the video existed, honestly. We got into XRP because we had a vision. We could see the value in XRP. We could see how that value can make us wealthy. The SEC chose to not use this expert. Recall FN1 informing the court that the expert was offering these opinions despite not having interviewed a single XRP purchaser. If the SEC had relied on this, his opinions for its summary judgment, Ripple had a lot to use from XRP holders. Now, as an XRP holder, the first thing I did was when I bought in, I said, this is going to be something I could get either passive income or when we go into the next bull cycle, I'm going to make some money off of it. And what happened was when the SEC sued Ripple, all of a sudden, those dreams faded for a lot of people. A lot of people sold, even as the ca red candles were coming in. People were selling, and selling at a loss, most of them. I believe all of those people 
have the should have the ability to file a class action lawsuit against the SEC and get their losses back, especially it, when Ripple wins this case, because they were victims of the SEC. Instead, there is no significant evidence establishing XRP holders relied on Ripple's efforts or its promises and public statements. Read pages 53 to 63 covering XRP holders. It only talks about Ripple and the advertising and marketing. Nothing showing it was at all successful or all successful. Why did the SEC choose to not use the expert? Because you chose to fight back. Most of the affidavits were notarized, requiring even more effort. The affidavits were from XRP holders from over 50 countries around the world. You all made a difference. That's what's great about voicing your opinion. That's what's great about pointing out facts to government officials. Because if you don't point out anything, or you don't do anything, they will do whatever they want. That's why we have the Great Reset coming, the New World Order, because people are not fighting back against it. That's what needs to happen, especially inside the United States. Right now, it's crisis after crisis. I point it out on this channel all the time, because I want you to stay awake to this. No, these are man-made crises. They're created to happen on purpose. And then there's this, optimism for groundbreaking Ripple win against the SEC fuels XRP price surge. And that could very well be what's pushing up the price. So IREMA extends partnership with Ripple to improve cross-border payments. Now at the same time that this SEC lawsuit continues on, Ripple is still doing a lot even inside of this bear market. They're continuing to sign partnerships continuing to make different partnerships with more and more banks throughout the world, plus they're being tied to more and more CBDCs. We have billions of dollars of transactions going through XRP and our product on-demand liquidity. Now, a lot of people believe on-demand liquidity is also holding the price up right now, keeping it up around 50 cents. Maybe it is up there based on all on utility. But... The thing is, whatever's holding the price up, because, and the reason I speculate on this, that it's utility and not just, you know, information about the SEC lawsuit, is because Bragg came out and said that this lawsuit could take up to another nine months for the judge to make a decision. Now, normally, people would sell on that news. That's very negative. But again, the price held up. So who knows what's truly holding up the price right now? The so Ripple outperforming almost the whole market. What's pumping XRP's price? So let's take a look at this for a minute. So there's a lot of whale movement on the XRP blockchain, also partially responsible for the price boost. Another reason for the surge in XRP seems to be whale movements on the platform on-chain analytics firm. Sediment data reveal an increase in whale transactions on the Ripple blockchain. Plus, we know that Ripple is also moving a lot of XRP too. So maybe that's what can be holding the price up. And again, it's great because people now are euphoric about XRP. Even the people that hated XRP just a little while ago are now all of a sudden loving it. You know why? Because once the price moves, people FOMO in. They don't want to miss out when the price skyrockets all of a sudden. You also got to remember, Ripple and XRP have the whole flip of the switch narrative behind them. People think that at any second right now, that switch can get flipped. That's why whenever there's any price movement as far as XRP, people want in. They don't want to miss out. We Google global bridge currency. And what did it return? See for yourself. The digital currency XRP acts as a bridge currency to other currencies. It does not discriminate between any fiat cryptocurrency, which makes it easy for any currency to be exchanged for another. So even Google knows it's a digital currency, and it's also a global bridge currency. 
At some time in the near future, I believe that generational wealth is coming for all of us XRP holders. I never plan on selling my XRP. I said that in multiple videos recently because I want to use, utilize Flair for passive income. I don't want to sell also because I know year over year that new financial system is going to gain value and so is XRP. With that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.